Today we're checking out another projector by Yotan. This time the Y9. It's got native 1080p resolution, 400 ANSI lumens, also supports 4K resolution, also has Bluetooth 5.2 with Dolby Audio as well. This one also has pre-installed streaming apps like Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video. So you can use that or you can hook up your own device as well. It also has dual hi-fi speakers, comes in a nice little travel case. Okay, this is smaller than what I thought it would be. Looks like you've got an adjustable foot here in the bag. Power adapter. Also comes with an HDMI cable, user manual, and quick start guide. It looks like you've got cleaning supplies as well. Pretty nice little remote control. You've got your app shortcuts down here at the bottom, plus USB, directional arrows, OK button there in the middle, volume controls as well. Pretty much everything you would need on the remote control. Has some nice texture there on the back as well. It has a plastic lens cap there on the front. You've got a remote control sensor on the front and on the back. You can see your built-in speaker. On the side, you've got your HDMI port, 3.5 millimeter auxiliary jack, USB port, and where you plug in the power. You've got some really nice and chunky silicone feet here on the bottom. You can put your adjustable foot there and the threads on the bottom, or you could use that to mount the projector as well. Pretty clean design here on the top with your power, OK button, arrows, directional arrows, back, source, and menu button as well. Then you have your manual keystone and focus adjustment. Now, once you get the projector set up, you'll need to pick which orientation the projector is, choose your region, accept or decline the data usage, and then you can set up your Wi-Fi connection, or you can skip that and do it later. As you can see, the home screen is set up similar to what you would see on a streaming device with shortcuts to Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, and so on. Up towards the top, you've got settings where you can adjust things like picture mode, audio, network, projection, and Bluetooth. You also have a sleep timer and auto sleep function as well. The picture modes are pretty subtle on here, but still a nice feature to have. Then you can adjust things like bass and treble for audio. You can also turn the surround sound on or off. Then you can see here's what the input shortcuts look like for HDMI and USB. Overall picture quality on this one is actually better than I thought it would be. And it appears to be in focus as you get towards the edges or corners for the most part. Now it's not going to be quite bright enough to use this projector with all the lights turned on but it does look pretty good once you turn all the lights off it also appears to be good enough quality to use this projector for presentations and the text on here is nice and sharp i feel like the built-in audio is also plenty loud enough for a medium-sized room not quite as good as an external speaker but still not bad compared to others i've tested I also tested the fan noise on here and it doesn't feel like it's too loud in my opinion. Only about 62 to 63 decibels right near the speakers. But as you go a foot or so away, the fan noise is gonna be quite a bit lower. I also tested mobile games, retro games, even Rocket League plays fairly smooth on here as well. And again, I feel like it performed better than I was expecting, which is always nice to see. So you're not gonna get some of the bells and whistles that you get on the more high-end projectors out there. But I feel like most people will enjoy the quality of this one, whether you're gonna do some gaming, use for presentations, or what I feel like it's best at is gonna be watching movies, TV shows, things like that, as long as you have all the lights turned off. 